Hello, I'm Nate Haug, and I'm going to give a short demonstration of the layout module for Backdrop. So this is a Backdrop site um, that has been installed and has all of the default modules turned on. Um, it also has a pull request added from issue number 86 on GitHub. Um, there's information down here about um, the branch of work where this is all currently being developed. And this is a demonstration of where we currently are with um, building out the layout module. So I've already turned on the layout module and it adds a new section here uh, under the structure section uh, for layouts. And uh, adding a new layout, it immediately jumps into um, what you want your layout to be titled and what uh, layout you actually want to use and which path it is at. Um, all of this uh, comes from porting panels essentially. This is essentially a, a port of panels with a different user interface. So let's say I want to say like um, override a current nodes uh, display. What I would do is I would say um, give it a title, select the layout, and then choose uh, a particular path. And so if I choose a path like node slash percent, um, it automatically determines that the context that will need to be added here based on the URL is going to be the node context. Um, likewise, if I were to have something more complicated and have multiple uh, wildcards that was a path that was unknown, then it would ask me what the context was for the remaining wildcards in the path. But for this particular example, I'm just going to um, make a um, a layout at an entirely new path, um, so it won't actually have any context other than the current user. So let's say this is the path that I want to use, um, and I want it to only take effect in certain situations. Um, you could set up something like uh, have multiple layouts at the same path, um, but show different ones based on different um, abilities, say like um, if you wanted to select based on user role and you wanted this page to have this layout based on a particular uh, role, you could do that and then set up another layout at the same path um, with other conditions on it. This is the, the equivalent of um, selection criteria in panels land. So we hit create layout. And what that has done on the back end is it has um, done a couple of things. Um, we've ported CMI in backdrop land. So in the configuration directory here, the active configuration, you can see it made um, two items here, two files, one for the layout itself. So the content of the layout, um, which is what I'm about to configure here with the left and right sidebar, uh, and also the menu item. So separately, um, a menu item is created that registers the path with, um, with the backdrop menu system. If I had selected a path that had been provided by another module, such as that node slash percent path, um, the need for a menu item JSON file wouldn't exist. So that entire file just wouldn't be added. And instead, we would just have the, the layout file itself with the menu item being provided by another module. So let's go ahead and add some content. Um, right now, the way this works is that um, this is just wrap around the existing block system. And you can see it's just the existing blocks from Backdrop itself. And you can see I can just add um, add the blocks in however I like. And as I'm adding these, I get certain options, um, such as when I want to um, choose the way that this block is displayed. Um, we ported the ability of, of panels to have style settings on individual blocks. Um, we don't yet have it on regions, but that's coming soon. Uh, and we can do things like add classes to the overall block if we so wanted. Uh, or if you wanted to do something more elaborate um, and use a template that um, swapped out all, the, all of the wrappers and all of the classes, you could do that as well and choose your, your wrapper class, you know, whether or not you wanted it to be in a side or in a section or a div. Um, as well as the heading level uh, and as well as a wrapper of the content itself inside of the, that block. So 
this kind of lets you choose um, which display you would like to use, whether or not you want to use um, the default style, which is really easy to override throughout the entire site, or you want to use the dynamic style, which lets you have really fine-grained control over the tags you want to use in your, in your output. Um, conditions, these conditions are exactly the same as the conditions on the overall layout, but instead it specifically um, affects one particular block. So if you wanted one particular block to only be available to one kind of user, you could do that um, really pretty easily. Um, also really useful if you were doing this for languages, um, you could make it so that certain blocks were available in English and others in Spanish, um, making it so you can toggle between multiple like views or, or what have you. So that's how that works. Um, the actual uh, drag and drop itself, of course, is really pretty trivial. You just move things around to where you would like them to go um, and then hit save. So now this is the entire um, this is the entire interface for, for drag and drop um, and for setting up the layout itself. But if we go back to the list of layouts, um, we can see that there are some additional options here. If I hit edit here, um, as well as like clone, disable, and delete, um, it'll take me back to this drag and drop interface that we were just at. And if I want to change my layout, I can do that um, by doing it here under the settings. But back here on this main listing, um, it groups together all of the layouts that are at the same path. So if I were to add another layout at the same path, um, they would be grouped together. And then as a group, you can do things as well. You can do things like set the menu settings, um, saying whether or not this has an entry in the menu system, um, or whether or not it's, it's tabs or um, a default tab, or you know, as we call it, a default local task. Um, and you can do that for the entire group of layouts under a particular path. Um, likewise, there's also access control, which makes it so that um, you could set up access to the entire group of layouts altogether. So if you had to have a certain permission to access this entire path, it would be better to set it at the menu level at this item than it would be at the individual layout. Um, because for an individual layout, you're just selecting which of the layouts at the same path will actually be used. Of course, if none of the layouts at a path match, then you'll just get a page not found. Um, but it's different than if you were to restrict access at the overall menu item and um, none of the conditions match, then you would get an access denied page. Um, the actual layout itself, right now, um, you can see that um, these blocks are laid out as we have configured them, but it's only in the middle content area of the page at this point. What we're planning on doing is making it so that all pages and backdrop are rendered through the layout system. So there is no layout other than the, the layout provided by the layout module. So these blocks that are currently positioned in the theme will no longer be controlled by the theme, but instead by an overall layout. So it will always expand, uh, expand to fill the entire content area, um, as well as probably even the header and footer have those be um, individually positioned blocks um, so that the entire header is provided by a single block and the theme can override the header block um, but really the page template itself will pretty much just be the HTML tag, the head tag, and the body tag and then the content inside of it um, the, while layout module itself is responsible for all content within the main part of the page. So if you take a look at some of the code um, let's see, we can go in and see that uh, layout module is just positioned right here. Um, it does include um, individual layouts, so you can see this is where the two column layout is actually coming from, um, as well as um, all of the conditions and the way they work. Um, like I said, this is all essentially ported from uh, ported from Page Manager and CTools and Panels, where an individual access control like this is like checking to see if something is the front page. Um, it's very, um, very similar to CTools in that it's all plugin based, um, but it's not quite like CTools in that it is all object-oriented. Um, 
which makes it actually very similar to, to views rather than a Ctools plugin. So the way these things are all actually identified is um, all through a simple hook. So here's an example of hook layout info where the one column and two column layouts are currently defined. Um, how contexts themselves are defined also through a hook. Um, access control, so this is like that check for is the front page or not, um, all also defined through a hook. Um, and in almost all cases, what we're doing here is um, we're defining information um, for discovery through an info hook, but then we're just pointing them at individual classes. So for something like this front page plugin, I call it a plugin, but really it's just an info hook that points at an individual class. And the same thing, renderers, um, we won't really have to get into renderers too much because there's really only two that you use, the one that renders the front end, the one that renders the back end. Um, and then styles themselves, um, things like um, how you want your block to appear and the classes that you want on it and things like that. And as we saw in the interface, there's two of those, the default one and the dynamic one that lets you choose the tags that you want in your blocks. So that's pretty much it for layout module. This was just a, a quick whirlwind tour of, of where we are currently. Um, we still have a lot of porting to do and, uh, and some work to do to integrate this more fully into Backdrop to make it so that it will be replacing the old region-based system that was provided by Themes and instead have all layouts throughout all of Backdrop controlled under a single system. Thanks for watching.